What's up everybody, it's Robin Gaming here. So, uh, I hope you really can't tell that much anymore, but for the past few days, you know, I haven't been on YouTube, of course, because I caught the flu, actually. So, I've just been laying, you know, sick in bed the entire time, and it wasn't exactly very fun. Uh, I felt really bored, so I wanted to, you know, get back into making videos, and I'm not fully recovered yet, which is why I said that I hope you can't notice too much, because my nose is still clogged up, and it's annoying the hell out of me, but, you know, it's like, it is what it is. Hopefully, you know, I'll, I'll get recovered uh, uh, fully very soon, but uh, at least I'm feeling good enough to start making videos again. So that's, you know, that's that's very happy news for me. So there is quite some stuff to actually talk about regarding PlayStation because they announced two pretty major things. So uh, let's actually, you know, get into that news, right? So the very first thing is that Sony has today announced that Andrew House, who is, of course, the CEO and president of uh, uh, Sony Interactive Entertainment, pretty much of PlayStation, uh, is going to be stepping down and leaving the company to pursue other activities, I don't know, if that means that he got a you know new job somewhere else or he just wants to do something new at least right um and after a very long time, you know, serving at PlayStation, I think over 20 years in total that he's been at the company, he felt, uh, yeah, he felt done with it pretty much. And, you know, like, it's it's this thing where it really shouldn't affect us too much because at the end of the day, this is just somebody working at a company that we don't have any personal involvements with, right? At the same time, it's like, well, you do recognize guys like Andrew House because they were always at these press conferences for PlayStation. I remember him, you know, being at, the, at, at some of the most recent recent E3s all the time. Uh, he announced the PlayStation 4 itself. He, he did the PS4 Pro event and stuff. So that's really where we as fans can still recognize him from, right? And I remember that uh, Jack Tretton left the company as well a couple years ago. And Jack Tretton was always the face of E3 at PlayStation. You know, it's just this thing where you're like, well, every time that you tune in into an event like that, that you're so hyped for, right? You expect to see a person like that um, present there on stage. Well, in that way, it's always a, a little sad to hear about news like this because now we know that we're not going to be seeing Andrew House at least anymore uh, at some of these PlayStation events. So, of course, I want to wish him, you know, all the best with whatever he's going to be doing next. Uh, clearly, he left PlayStation in a very good state as the president because right now, I mean, the PS4 is still selling, you know, crazy well, right? And it's just been a success all around uh, ever since that he stepped in as the president in, I think, 2011 when uh, Kazurai, of course, actually became uh, instead of the boss at PlayStation, he became uh, the leader of Sony itself, the entire electronics company, uh, because of what he did for PlayStation. Andrew House, you know, took over and he did a very good job at once again making PlayStation, you know, right now the, the biggest, uh, pretty much like, yeah, the biggest gaming platform that there is at the moment. So, um, in that way, he's meant really good things for the company. Uh, also, Sony announced that the new guy who's going to be following him up, at least for now, is called John Codera. And I'd never heard about uh, that person before in particular. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, if we're going to see John Codera now be on stage at E3 or we're going to find out soon uh, who this guy actually is. But he was pretty much right under Andrew House in the ranks of Sony. So clearly, he knows what he's doing and uh, we shouldn't really have too much to worry about there. So yeah, that was pretty much the news for Andrew House. House, once again, it's, it, it shouldn't, you know, kind of like uh, uh, really impact us. But at the same time, it is somewhat sad to see knowing that he was such a big part of what made PlayStation great, uh, you know, for a long time. So, yeah, the second thing that Sony actually announced is that they once again kind of like teased and marketed uh, Paris Games Week, which they are going to be holding a press conference at in, I think, uh, about a month from now, at the end of October, actually, October the 30th, I think it was. Um, and what they've pretty much said in the tweet is that we should be expecting big announcements. So I wanted to just really quickly talk about that too, because personally, I'm just going to be very honest with you, I don't expect too much. I think, yes, we're going to be seeing some stuff, of course, because otherwise they wouldn't be hosting a press conference, but you got to keep in mind that PlayStation Experience will be taking place just a month after that at the beginning of December. Um and it is almost obvious that PlayStation wants PSX to be really, you know, one of their big events. And if we look at last year and what they announced there, then this year, once again, should be no different. And so PlayStation Experience re really will be where we will be seeing more of The Last of Us Part Two, and where we will be seeing a God of War release date get announced. And really like the big games that are going to be focused on. Paris Games Week, I think we will see some news like, for example, Detroit Become Human and some of the other European Sony games, because Detroit is 
is actually a, a French game, of course. Quantic Dream is a French company. So uh, they'll announce a release date, hopefully, for Detroit Become Human, finally, which would be cool. And then maybe, you know, we're going to hear about the Horizon DLC, because that's Dutch, of course, a Dutch game. Um, and we'll be, uh, you know, maybe hearing some more about Dreams from Media Molecule, if that's actually getting a beta now, and what is up with that game, because we haven't heard about Dreams in such a long time. Uh, so they'll focus on those games, but they're a little bit smaller, and they're not as huge as the big PlayStation hitters that we're all looking forward to, like, like I said, The Last of Us, God of War, Death Stranding, those type of games, you know. Uh, I think they'll save that news for PlayStation Experience. So I would just like to say to, you know, all of you fans looking forward to... Um, Paris Games Week. It's going to be a cool show, but don't go in with the biggest expectations. Once again, the big announcements, we'll see those happen at PSX. But nonetheless, I'll be live streaming, of course, both events, so it's going to be really fun. Uh, and that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you in this video. So for now, all I can say is look forward to a lot more videos coming up again. I'm actually going to be doing a review for uh, Cuphead, most likely tomorrow, because I've re like, I really need to talk about that game with you all, and I hope you're going to be checking out that video for sure, uh, even though most of you probably won't be able to play it because so many of you are just PlayStation gamers, but that's a game you'll wanna you'll wanna hear about pretty much. Um, and I'm gonna obviously uh, do some other stuff. I've got some more Last of Us news again. I've got also uh, maybe a FIFA 18 review coming up, which is a little weird because I'm not exactly the biggest FIFA fan. But uh, then again, uh, yeah, look forward to all of that. It's gonna be really cool. Also on Patreon, got lots of stuff coming up. So uh, with that being said, thanks a lot for uh, for tuning in, of course, for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a quick like to help support my channel. And then for now. Thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you again next time.